We just got out of my post op appointment and um really excited because uh i'm good to go my little incisions are all closed up and i feel great that was the easiest thing i've ever done not that appointment but the surgery as well i've never had surgery I've been asleep a couple times, but I've never had a, like an invasive surgery. So I'm glad that I can carry on as normal. Normal. I'm done. Okay, now I need to go uh, step in the house really quickly, get a pair of scissors so I can work on some stuff in the car before I hop in the car line because now it's time to pick up Levi from school. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week and everything is what it needs to be for you. If not, that it's working its way there. I'm in the car line. <laughs> I've had a very busy day of running all the errands. I got patches out in the mail and yeah. I've been up since like 4 a.m. I've taken one nap. I haven't napped again but i'm cool i'll probably just eat and stay hydrated and maybe call it an early night maybe um new day same new to me ottoman i just placed and uh, excuse me i just placed a pickup order at joanne for some fabric medium um so i'm just gonna get some acrylic paint and paint the ottoman that is going to be what i do at first i had considered um wrapping it and giving it like a textile um really tactical look uh with my macrame cord because i have so much of it but instead i realized it'll look or it might be easier to maintain and keep its color if i just paint it because with my kids as you can see loomy over there with their little fingers and stuff. I don't think I want anything white <laughs> out where they can access it. And now it seems like uh, the house is, or I should say, Luna is needing some attention. So I'm gonna go help manage her. Yay. <laughs> Check this out. My poor bird of paradise. She dying, but I'm letting her die a slow death. I'm enjoying her while she's still here. Anyways. Remember what this space looked like? Now look, and no, it's not yogurt, it's rocks. Um, I lowered the plant table. Um, so I liked it as a partition, but realized it really was just, it was too obstructing to the view. And now here we have everything. So what's left for me to do is A, put this little corner of stuff away, figure out what I'm gonna do with this um, task lamp that I technically don't need because I have a cute little boob light overhead. Um, and I've got like how I have the canvas panels covering the shelves. I have some more that I'm gonna put up. Um, I just need to clean them and finish organizing some stuff here and there. But for all intents and purposes, look at that, look at that. She cute, I can sit down. All of this stuff on top of the ottoman is gonna go in my craft closet because my nursery bedroom is the storage for the overflow because my kids, well, the babies, the youngest don't have enough stuff where they actually need the closet. So mommy's using it and it's actually organized because I organized that a while back. And here's some kitty artwork to, you know, adorn my space so they know that they're here with me even though I don't want them in here at all there's dyes up there that I need to use up they're natural asterisks extracts whatever you know what I'm trying to say there's the oldest of the little babies yeah it's rocks it's not yogurt and that's it for the tour I get to look outside I think cookies outside she is but she's not on the side deck we got a lot of stuff to do over here too but i have plans for that we'll get to it in the future luna is asleep so time to get busy all right so here we are in my space and i'm sitting here with this ottoman and i'm thinking 
do I really want to paint it? Do I really want to, am I ashy? Maybe. Do I really want to do anything to it? Because given the colors in this area, the walls, the curtains, the fact that I'm about to have some canvas covering all of my shelving. Do I really want to change the color? Like, do I really want to change the color? It's such a coastally, really pretty teal kind of blue green but I want to do something fun to it I'm not gonna lie I really want to do something fun I have the here we go it's right here let me not hurt myself getting to it it's gonna look backwards because I'm using my front facing camera can I get rid of the exposure that helps a little bit but this is from Ceram Coat. It's Delta Creative. Textile medium transforms Ceram Coat acrylic paint into permanent, flexible, and washable fabric paint. So, um, all I need is like one part of this to two parts of some acrylic paint. And essentially, it turns it into, like it said, fabric paint. So, I've got some ideas. I've got some ideas. Here's where we are after using just that little amount. I have just under half of only the top of the ottoman finished. Um, I'm basically scooping out the paint with the little brush and then smearing it as much as I can with the roller. I did have a small foam sample roller, but I, of course I can't find it when I need it. Um, so this is helping, it works. It's soaking into the fabric really well. Um, but I'm definitely gonna need probably a larger container of paint uh, because I only had like maybe this much to begin with and I've used like maybe <laughs> that much. So this is, this might be enough just to finish the top. And yeah, I've got a lot more to do. So I'm probably gonna run and get some more paint shortly and try to finish this thing up. So the entire top is finished. Well, the literal top. I still need to go around the sides, but now I have a really good gauge of how much I'm gonna need um, per coat for a section this large, since I have two more sides that match the dimensions of the top itself, and then the depth of the top. So I'm really, I think I'm, in a good place to finish this and I might just leave it this new color because I'm very much a fan um yeah it's giving me all the linen vibes with this khaki tone and can't wait to add I'm thinking maybe only one more coat so I think two coats tops will be good good morning it's a new day it's Friday and um we're going to finish up this ottoman so as you can see we're outside 
my kids are awake and running around the living room. So instead of risking getting paint all over everything with their, you know, sticky fingers, I'm going to finish it outside. So, um, the color came out very well. You can see where it's thicker in some spots, um, just so I could get it all over, but it is all over. And I'm going to top it off with a second coat of just the gray and see how I like it and just see if some of these fatigue like tones pop through and then we'll be finished as long as I can get it even. So let's get going on that. Oh yeah, I'm probably, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to film this part. I'm just, because it's just going to be me painting. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that. And then I'll show you what it looks like after I've gotten the whole second coat on. Y'all, I'm ecstatic. So glad I just went with a single tone to go over the whole thing. It almost looks like whitewashed or gray wash since it's technically an ashy gray, as you can see on my fingers. Um, but in person, it almost looks like linen or waxed canvas, maybe leather. It's, it's got a different look depending on the lighting and I'm really happy. It still needs to finish drying um, and it'll get a final sand and then I'll heat seal it. Well, actually after I sand it, I'll decide if I want to even it out just a little bit more, but honestly, I like how it looks the way it looks like. All right, friends, paint on my face and all. I'm gonna close out this vlog uh, with how my ottoman looks in its space and I will catch you all next video. Bye!